down today. I got some beautiful fish in there, 20 inches. Uh, most of them are 18 to 20 inches. I probably got my self-imposed limit at 20, maybe 25, but I tried to get out of there and let another guy have my spot while it was still biting. solid 18 19 that's a that's 20 21 and got a few 14s in there got some more at the bottom under the ice look at that look at that hammer <clears throat> look like the old time Tommy the drain there huh With that incoming tide, it looks like everything uh, in the near future, uh, in the afternoon, is outgoing tide pretty strong. I, I don't like that. <clears throat> That's just my preference. <clears throat> I had a friend catch some good fish at, uh, at at Bell Pass on the incoming tide, redfish and trout. Uh, some caught on the beach at Elmer's Island er early in the morning, and I caught those at at Caminata. Uh, but it was only for about I'm gonna say an hour steady where I was getting my bait stolen or catching a, a good one. Uh, I sat there for a while in that current and, and not got a bite. So it's like they come in and out of there or they just eat at a certain time. And today that time was right before the tide stopped. That's when they, they wanted to eat. Uh, yesterday I waited it out and I caught most of the fish that I caught in when the tide was coming in pretty strong. So every day is different. You got to be ready. And then that little uh, trick I pulled on them when I started hooking them through the tail, those small ones, all I, had, all I had was, I had some big pogies, but not many. They were too big. I didn't have the perfect pogies like I did yesterday. I had some small little silver dollars. And hooking them through the tail, when I switched to that from the head, even in the current, I started smoking them. And that's what put my box together. That was, if I wanted to did that, I would not nearly had, I, I think I ended up with 20, right at 20, my self-imposed limit. So uh, that's Grand Isle, man. It's hot right now in August. It, it, I got lucky today. I, I was blessed. Thank you, God, for, for a, a good little uh, two-hour trip. And now I got to go to work and make some phone calls. And thank all my people, all my clients with Aflac. If, you, if you're a subscriber, and, and, uh, thank all my subscribers. But a lot, many of my clients are subscribers. And thank, thank you all uh, for keeping my Aflac in place and all my business owners that, that allow me to, uh, to fish more than most people. I'm not retired. Uh, I do uh, Aflac in a bunch of businesses and also I have uh, a, a relationship with a, a big health insurance broker. So if you don't like your health insurance that you have now, you've got a big company, I can hook you up with these guys and uh, they, they take care of me on it. And, uh, and they are very reputable people. I trust them. So. If you don't like if you don't like somebody uh, that you're doing your health insurance and not servicing you properly, uh, send me a, a message and I'll put you in touch with them. Tommy V, live in Grand Isle.